Hey internet world, Micah here. Welcome to a fish story. We're out on beautiful Lake Louise, got some overcast. I'm here with Adam Marks, who you might know from Seahorse, Novacron, Arctic Universe. We're gonna see what we can catch today. We're gonna try uh, some spinner baits and sit off the weed beds. Skim! Dad! This is the Whopper Whopper. Oh my god! Get on the water. I would say we're just going to cast uh, parallel to the shoreline. Oh, I rainbow sky hooked that one. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, eat your heart out. Oh, there we go. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Talk to me, Mike. What do we got here? I don't know. Feels good. I got my broken you rod. You get, get the net? Got my lucky broken reel. You grab the net, Ed. Research. Where is the net? Behind that me. Feels like a decent fish. That is there nice. We go. That's nice. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Oofta. Let's see how big it is. 14 and a half, almost 15. Nice. It's a thick one though. Alright, buddy. Not bad, Micah. There you go, dude. Yeet. Yeet. How fast actually are you reeling in? Like what's your strategy for uh, that? consistent. Yep. Well, got the one almost 15 inch bass, but luck over here is some bad. So we're just going to go from spot to spot today. Should tell you, uh, got my broken rod earlier this year. Is there was a, uh, Were you caught that bass on that? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, earlier this year I caught a walleye, a 24 inch walleye by the way, six and six pounds something. And it, uh, my rod got caught, it was in a kayak. Tip of it snapped. But I still hauled that fish in. I have, there are a lot of records coming out this year actually that um, there's a March Presents and uh, doing with uh, the, no actually the, the overseas label that I work with, Rock as Hell. Um, so I did the uh, Seahorse 4 LP box set with them and then the, Mark's presents for seven inch thing. Yeah, it's just beautiful. I, I, that's such an honor too. It's like, you know, someone believes in your work enough to spend that kind of money. I got a fish. Hey. Mike has got a fish. Fish on. Talk to me about it. Uh, I think it's... Northern? No, it's another bass. Grab some weeds. There we go. It's not done yet. Yeah, all right. It's not done yet. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Not a bad bass. The same size as the last one. Not bad. Not bad. These treble hooks out of there. Should we throw them on the board? It's probably about the same size. Yeah. About the same. Almost 15. There you go, buddy. Hell yeah. Nice. Good job, we caught that on the shad wrap this time for all of you fishing people out there. Got Micah, are you gonna edit this? So it's just you, a little you, perch uh, shad wrap. Just fish after fish after fish, and then <laughs> and then pan to meat. It'll be the, whatever the worst thing that you've said yeah, is that that's what I'll end it on. <laughs> Hoping I get to pull out the old whopper plopper later on today. Whopper Plopper! What constitutes the name Whopper Plopper? Uh, with that Whopper Plopper. Right? Oh, the Whopper Plopper? On the Whopper Plopper! This is the Whopper Plopper. Oh, Little guy, you wanna try a Whopper Plopper? Oh, that one. There you have it, three. And on uh, three different lures. We got the, uh... Yeah, three different lures. So what we got here is a uh, Whopper Plopper. 110. How often are you painting? Every week, every I paint every at day? least four hours a night. Oh, Easily, sure. yeah. That's Easily. Great. That everything I'm doing kind of feeds into 
uh, something else I'm interested in. Right. Um, and hence the whole Marx Presents stuff. The record I'm doing with Rock as Hell is a three record set, so it's gonna be a, another kind of box set in a sense. Um, and that's gonna be all of, uh, essentially Marx Presents is all of my projects just kind of in one. But this guy in Milan, Milano, Italy, uh, asked me to uh, if I want to be on a insane tribute comp. And then I had um, Christy Costello, Christy Hunt, um, if you remember her from Ouija Radio, and, she, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, many, many bands. She uh, sang on it to kind of diffuse the machismo or machismo uh, element of it. And everything was just like fucking brutal, you know, just, it's insane, you know, tribute. So every band is trying to be as like heavier than the next band. And I was gonna do a dance track and uh, take one of their songs and it's like, wow, like, you know, I can't believe how much time you must have spent on this. This sounds really good. And, and he was really, it seemed like he was really impressed, which made me feel great. And it, it made the LP, what was cool about, about that whole experience though was, you know, after I was done with that, um, I had a deadline and it really set a precedence of like, I need to get this done by this particular time, thus I'm going to learn the software one way or another. Okay, well it's COVID pandemic time, so there's not a lot of things you really can do, so hey, I'll kill some time by doing some work and then, you know, that work kind of snowballs. Yeah, it just kind of snowballs into other things. All the while, you know, I'm really hungry to play music. Hey, have you been working on any solo projects? Uh, you know, before COVID, I had a, a show at Dusty's Bar um, with Dagos? this. Dagos? Yeah, which was a lot of fun. It was with this, uh, this uh, lady, uh, Monica LaPlante, who's kind of a Susie and the Banshees style. Uh, but um, really, really, really fun show. And the way that I'm choosing to look at everything is everything I'm doing is an opportunity for some other opportunity. Yeah. Know? Like, with the coming year, like, post-COVID, whatever, like, what kind of, you know, what are your hopes for what you're working on where to go? I just want to live out my life being okay. Like, I just don't yeah. want to suffer more than I have to or anybody has to. I'm enjoying uh, Mark's Presents and uh, kind of trying to umbrella both visual art and music under one entity. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. This on. Oh yeah, baby. All right, we're back out on the hey, water. Hey, look at that. It's a little guy. Got our first northern. First oh. little guy of the day. He's bleeding. Is that a period or something? Oh, he snapped that right into his gill. Shoot. No. Yeah, I'm hoping he'll be all right, though. Let's get him back in. All right. Well, we got a little northern. Um, like, or, or the show you got asked to do? Well, it was a show of collaborative work between myself and Tom Azemeyer uh, uh, at Gallery called La La Land um, in Hollywood. Um, Melvin's played, which is really cool. It's going to be a solo performance by Buzz, but um, it just kind of casually morphed into a full Melvin set, which was great. And their set was great, and they played right away, so of course people showed up, and so I felt a little out of my element, but on the same token, I also, it was just elated feeling that, that I could be in a position that, after all these years, um, you know, yeah, really. to be out there and be included in this. But that was great, I uh, sold everything, and oh, uh, uh, six pieces. It's interesting. The more, the more I'm doing it, the uh, the more I'm finding out. Like many other things in life, uh, the more I investigate, the less I feel like I have a fucking clue <laughs> about what I'm doing at all. Sure. 
Dan, do you have a fish story? I haven't really been proper trout fishing per se, but I have uh, uh, fished in a couple times in Alaska. And, uh, oh wow! Uh, what, what's cool is like not even any sort of major, you know, expedition or anything, but literally just like the side of the road pulling off, and there's a river. And, right, uh, right. And you just fucking pull off the side of the road and fish the river, and oh my god, there's trout. I think, I mean, if you're in Alaska, though, and you're like, you can salmon fish, you can, like, yep. there's, it, that's a different thing. Yeah. I just thought that was so cool, you know, because it wasn't just like, okay, we're here, now we're setting the boat up, now we're doing this. Right, right, right. right. It was just like, hey, let's, uh, let's pull over. Yeah. And I'm just catching fish. Get it, get in there. Fish. Fuck, fucking get it. Get that shit. Fucking. This boat. is a bigger fish. That's it. Grab that, man. It's right behind you, Adam. Get it. Make Talk to me, Micah. We got a bigger fish. I don't know what's going out there now. Don't horse it. Oh. Let him do his thing. Well, that's a big oh, ass bass. Damn. It's a big ass bass. Oh my god! Dude! <laughs> oh! Fuck that. <laughs> wow. Let's get a measurement on that. A little over, just over 18. 18. <laughs> Fucking dope. All right, buddy. Yeah, Thanks a lot for that. That's a good shot, but it doesn't. All right. What the fuck you there we go. There we go. You know, I think the rule of thumb, at least in my opinion, is no one cares about how much time you spent on a painting. Right, right, yeah. Like, no one cares. So it's either good or it's not, or it connects with someone or it doesn't. Yeah. So you can't, you know, this idea of like, well, I spent so much time on it. Well, okay, but it's still not worth a hundred dollars. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so, uh, you know, that strangely and thankfully was really easy to swallow right away. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I was starting out, the first thing I sold, um, I actually sold to Jacob Scharf. For forty dollars, um, right off of Instagram, it's like, cool, that's great, my electric bill. Right. And then, you know, a couple weeks later, I sold a piece for one hundred and fifty. And so I'm not sweating either. Thanks for watching. There's a subscription button. There's a like button. Do it. We had a great time on the water with Adam. Uh, you can check his info out on the links below. And uh, I'm sure some algorithm will give you another great video to watch after this. Yep. Muchpresents.com. I yeeted that walleye. <laughs>